Today in Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the CVA Cascade. Before we get into the CVA Cascade, help us out if you would please and click that subscribe button. Also go ahead and click that notification bell. If you have a CVA Cascade, tell us what you think below so that our viewers can also hear about what your thoughts are. If you have any questions, ask and we'll be happy to answer them. Okay, now that you've done that for us and we appreciate it, let's talk about the CVA Cascade. If you've been watching our channel at all, you know we have several videos on this CVA Cascade. The links to all those are in the description. We got all sorts of things, but now that we've had it for about five months, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my complete review of this rifle. Before we get going, know that this is completely unloaded. Nothing is in the chamber, nothing is in the magazine, so completely safe, unloaded weapon. It wouldn't be review this thing if we didn't cover the facts. The first is fit. The really, really nice thing about the CVA Cascade is that it has an adjustable length of pull. We have a video where you can watch how to do that, but just know that that is an absolutely awesome capability that this rifle has. It has a one inch spacer, which puts it out to about 13 and seven eighths total length of pull. If you take that one inch spacer out, then it's obviously gonna get you closer to that 12 and seven eighths, close to that 13 inch range, which I'm 5'4 and have a fairly short frame, fairly short arms apparently. And so that range that like right there at that 13 inch is absolutely perfect for me. So the cool thing is you can go from a youth, somebody my size or smaller, all the way up to a tall adult grown male. So you're not gonna outgrow this rifle because you do have the option of adjusting it. The weight of this rifle is also pretty great. Uh, out of the box, it weighs under seven pounds. Once I got it all geared up, put a scope on it, have all the cartridges in it, the sling, the whole nine, it weighs just about eight and a half pounds, so less than nine pounds for sure. So for a 308 with a 22 inch barrel to weigh under nine pounds, I'd say is pretty great to be able to carry it through the, the woods, carry it if you're hiking some through the mountains. Now it's obviously not gonna be your lightest rifle option, but I'd say, especially for me, it's pretty, pretty doggone close. And another thing, the weight of this is also extremely well balanced. So if I was gonna shoulder it, I'd put my hand about right there and you can see there, completely balanced. It, it, I'm not having to adjust to make sure that it's not gonna, I'm not gonna drop it or anything like that. So overall, fit, the, the only thing that I would like to see in addition would maybe be an elevated cheek piece right there just to make it easier for women, people like me, um, longer necks to be able to see to get down on that cheek weld and be able to see through the scope without having to kind of pick your head up, which I often do sometimes. But other than that, adjustable length of pull, super great weight, lightweight, well-balanced weight. So because of all those things, I'm gonna have to give fit of the CVA Cascade a five out of five. Okay, now is the CVA Cascade as advertised. So the number one thing that the CVA advertises is that MOA guarantee which if you're not familiar means you should be able to shoot one inch groups at 100 yards, two inches at two, three inches at three, so on and so forth. There's a video of us sighting it in and taking our first three shots, but I would say absolutely consistently that the times we've shot this weapon and I've had different breaks on it, um, the Whip Machine SME, which you can watch the review of that, uh, also on our website, consistently been able to keep that one MOA group. Now with any rifle, there's ammunition that it prefers. Now we bought some cheap, 308 ammo I can't even remember what it was and uh, didn't get great groups with that but as soon as I went back to the the typical ammo we'd been using right back to those MOA sub MOA groups now myself I haven't been able to shoot this rifle past 100 yards yet um, so I can only speak to that 100 yard range but a friend of mine um, Hootie Who if you don't follow him go right now and subscribe to his channel that was but he took that a CDA Cascade out it. and tried it at I think one was at 800 yards and then worked it on out to about a thousand yards and he was able to hit a target at a thousand yards with a cva cascade 22 250. obviously these are quality and are able to hit a target at a thousand yards and keep those moa groups at least at 100. if you don't subscribe to hootie who you need to because he's got some great videos about all kinds of different uh, calibers ammunitions rifles all that good stuff so check him out now most of the other things they advertise on their website we're going to talk about in the construction section so we're going to just skip ahead thus far we have not been disappointed and we've been able to keep it consistent accurate groups with off-the-shelf ammunition because of that we're going to say the cva cascade as advertised is a five out of five now on to construction and durability 
The stock is a fiberglass reinforced synthetic stock and it has this soft touch feel, which is actually uh, pretty great. Helps it not feel cold, but then it also just makes it easier to grip if it's wet, uh, rain and dewy, you're not gonna slip on hard plastic. We talked about the adjustable length of pull, awesome feature. I, the only negative I mentioned was wishing that this cheek piece was a little bit more elevated to fit people like me. Now it's not a women's specific rifle, so that's probably why it's not there, but maybe CVA should make a women's specific rifle in the future. Call me. The trigger on this is an adjustable Bergara performance trigger. There is a video on how to adjust the trigger pull below, but it comes out of the box right around three pounds and we were able to get it down to about two, two and a quarter pounds and it's so smooth. It shoots super, super smooth for just a factory trigger, which keeps me from anticipating, wanting to, to anticipate the shot. It's, it surprises you just like you want it to. Also in line with the Bergara Performance Trigger, the barrels are made at the Bergara factory in Spain. So it's high quality barrel. It's a free floating barrel. So it's uh, gonna keep things more accurate. That's where that MOA guarantee comes from, is from that barrel. You can see it's also coated in a um, flat dark earth Cerakote finish, which helps with keeping it weatherproof and just helping with that long lasting durability. One of my absolute favorite things about the CVA Cascade is this uh, flush mount detachable magazine. It holds four rounds in here and the magazine works with several different calibers. So keep in mind, they're hard to find on their website. So if you see them in stock and you want extras, you should probably go ahead and get them, but easy to take out, easy to put in, super easy to load. Another awesome feature of the Cascade is the bolt. Uh, we did have to do a little cleaning and a little oiling, but once we did that, it's just crazy smooth. It's also only a 70 degree bolt throw, which makes it super easy. Also creates plenty of clearance for your scope. So you don't have to get it all the way up to 90 like you do with a lot of other ones to be able to throw that bolt. Super smooth. Probably my most favorite part of this rifle is the threaded barrel that it has. It's a 5 8 by 24 threaded barrel, so you can put a brake on it, suppressor, things like that. Uh, video of the Wit Machine SME, you can check that out, uh, the brake that we had on it. Because this rifle is a 308 and because it is so light, for me and my frame, it actually has quite a bit of recoil. I've tried a couple different brakes on it and they make a huge difference. Probably never have another rifle that doesn't have a threaded barrel because of that. Um, and I absolutely love them. So just keep an eye out on reviews we have of those, but know that that's definitely a possibility. The action is tapped for Savage 110 AccuTrigger bases. So any of the rails or bases you find for that will fit this. Um, it actually does come with two uh, single uh, mounts that, that come on the rifle and you can mount directly to that. We replaced that with the CVA 20 MOA rail. Uh, so it's a one piece rail just to help make sure we keep it stable, make sure that scope stays in place and we're not having to reside it in every year. And finally, all CVA Cascades come with a 14 day money back guarantee. So if for some reason you don't like it, you can return it. Um, in case you haven't picked up on it, I really don't have anything negative to say about the construction. I'm sure there are people out there that have something. If you do, if there's something you don't like about it, comment and let us know. But I absolutely love this rifle. Uh, so because of that, I'm going to give construction and durability a 5 out of 5. Now on to testimonials and reviews. So this rifle is actually pretty new. I think it came out maybe in 2019. There's not a ton of reviews out there. Not a lot of negatives that people have. Overall gets great reviews. Uh, the couple of re negative reviews I read were either that the screw that adjusts the trigger was too tight and they couldn't get it to loosen or it fell out. But that's pretty much the only complaints I could really find. So if you have any comment below so everyone can know what they are. Because of all that we're going to give it the score that we found. So testimonials and reviews of the CVA Cascade gets a 4.8 out of 5. Okay now for the most important question of the day, should you buy this thing? So the retail price of this version if you go to a store website is right at $5.99. They have a version that is a black stock with a blued barrel that runs right at $4.99. So I'm just going to jump right on it, put my cards on the table in case you haven't figured it out. I absolutely love this rifle. Now, full disclosure, I have not been able to take it hunting yet because I just got it, I think in February and it's July. So we've been shooting it plenty, but I haven't taken it hunting yet, but I absolutely love it so far. Super accurate, super easy to shoot. Love the trigger, love the adjustable stock. Absolutely love being able to put a brake on it. Lots of things I absolutely love about this gun. For me, there are so many features for a rifle that you can get for 600 bucks. Not a lot of rifles are gonna have all those features for that price, and that's what CVA was shooting to do, pun intended. So absolutely, without question, should you buy the CVA Cascade, five out of five.
Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have a CBA Cascade, please comment below and let us know what you think and ask any questions. While you're here, take a chance and watch a few other videos and subscribe to our channel. Also, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook.